here we're going to see a couple of debugger commands, kernel debugger commands regarding processes, mostly extension commands. of them we have seen before bang process bang process is used to see what is inside the process like thread etc dot process is used for switching the context the user mode context of a particular process bang pep is to dump out the corresponding pep data structure in user mode. Bank process more or less dumps out the e process structure in the kernel in a user friendly way. Dot process in effect changes the CR3 or the page table translation. The kernel at the space remains the same. It is a user at the space which is changing. So if you want to see a threads user mode stack or if you want to do a DC on the user mode of a particular process, you have to use dot process. So which process context is currently the debugger in? That process pep is displayed when you use the pep command. In the demo, we're gonna see different variants of bang process. So bang process 00, zero which will display all the process in the system with minimum information. Normally, up to three parameters we pass to bank process. 17 will give you the maximum information. So 17 is an undocumented switch which will change the context to that particular process. So you'll see the user mode stack as well. For example, bank process 017 not pad or you see in that case the entire user mode as well as kernel mode stack of the threads inside not pad or you see is displayed. So you can uh, use name not pad or you see or you can pass the process pointer which you obtained in bank process 00. Normally always dot process is used with slash r slash p uh, to read all the symbols then the process pointer. So let's see these commands in play. So this is a kernel debugger which is connected to a Windows 8.1 version machine. So the first command I'm going to type is bank process zero zero. The first zero is for the process pointer. So I don't have any process pointer, so I'm passing zero so that I'll get all the process displayed in the system. The second zero is the amount of verbosity which I require. Normally higher the number, higher the verbosity. 17 as far as I know, the maximum verbosity. Number 17. It is an undocumented switch which we're gonna see shortly. So bank process zero zero. So these are the processes which are running in the system at the moment. So if I want some more details of any of this process, so what I can do is I can select the process pointer. So this is the process pointer, and again the same command bank process. Instead of zero, I can put that process and I can increase the verbosity, so for example 7. So I'm getting the kernel mode stack of the threads. So now if I pass 
17. I'll get the user mode tag as well. So it is switching the context. So this part is the user mode. So if you carefully look at the address here, you will understand that this is user mode. So this is the lower 2 GB address and this is from the upper 2 GB. The most significant bit is set all this addresses. So that is a kernel mode address. And this is user mode address. So also I can do and process zero then I can pass the exe name I get the same output so if there are multiple process running with the same exe it will dump all of them for example this will dump out all the services Processes and switch context to that particular process, and you will be able to see the user mode stack as well. This is a very useful command. Bang process 017, then the process name. It's very handy. So, if you want to stop the command in the middle, you can break here, you can draw a break. Now, dot process. So, for example, I wanted to see the hip of this particular process. This is an SVC host. So dot process slash r slash b. Then the process pointer. Then bank pep. So this is the pep of that particular process. So this is an SVC host. So which means that currently the debugger or the process context or the process context under the debugger is this particular process. Or in other words, if I do a DC on this user mode address, I'll get the context of the virtual address space, the user mode virtual address space of the SVC host this particular SVC host instance. Let me go to another process which is a little bit more unique. So for example LCS. So dot process slash r slash p process pointer again. Pep. So I should see LSAS. So this is LSAS. So same command I'm executing bang pep, but I'm getting different results depends on the process context because pep is a user mode data structure. So pep is a user mode. That's why the pep is changing. And we change the process context. So this is also having some effect on the thread display using k command from kernel mode. So we will discuss that when we discuss the thread, the data presentations. So we have seen dot process, bank process, bank pep, etc. That brings us to the summary of the presentation. We have seen a couple of commands which are related to processes, windows, win debug, very useful commands like and process 070. That's about the presentation. Now, reviews, comments, and suggestions I would like to take from one single location. So, if you don't mind, I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments.
Unfortunately, it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content. Now, if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training, please feel free to follow these links. Also, please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings. All services are available online as well as direct classroom training. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.